Find out why the best solution for your high cholesterol won't be found in a prescription bottle. Up next on Comcast Newsmakers. Bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our show. High cholesterol affects over 42 million Americans, and despite pharmaceutical claims, this hour's newsmaker says the best way to lower high cholesterol is with the help of natural remedies. Jay Foster is a nutritional biochemist with Body Chemistry Associates, and thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, you're saying many of the maladies that we have right now uh, that, it, that we take prescriptions for, uh, high blood pressure, uh, menopause, all these different things, uh, can be handled through just taking a body chemistry test and, and using supplements. In many cases, we like to try the premium non necessary approach of first do no harm. So we try the natural approach first. If for any reason it doesn't work, you can always fall back on medication. What percentage of time does it, do, does it work? Mm, most of the time. Most of the time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at high cholesterol. That's, right. that's something a lot of people have. Uh, and, and people who really are sedentary, uh, who don't work out, usually have the, uh, this problem. What do you do to help them? Well, we find out why it's high. Uh, it's not from eggs or butter. You can eat 100 eggs a day. It doesn't cause high cholesterol. Uh, the milk protein called casein, in, even in skim milk, and refined sugar can cause high cholesterol. And then we give natural remedies to bring it down. We've had very good success with that. So even skim milk, you're thinking you're, you're taking skim yeah. milk as non-fat. Right. Uh, that would help you. Yeah, it's not the fat. It's the protein in the cow's milk that has been shown to cause high cholesterol. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, so so you, you've helped most people who have high cholesterol. It's, all, it's really easy. Very easy. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. How about high blood pressure? A lot of people suffer from that and take medication mm -hmm. for it as well. Yeah, well, they shouldn't stop their medication, but sometimes there's a magnesium deficiency. Sometimes they're producing too much adrenaline, mm -hmm. uh, maybe other things like cadmium or another toxic metal affecting the kidneys sometimes. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at women problems. Of course, many go through menopause mm -hmm. uh, and have problems with, with menopause. Uh, what, are your, what is your solution? Well, there's some natural uh, isoflavone chemicals from soy and other um, sources that help to modulate uh, the uh, mm -hmm. hormones and help with hot flashes. Are, are we lacking certain nutrients on a normal basis, most of us? Oh, yeah. We are? Yes. What type of nutrients should, should we have that we're usually not getting in our normal diets? Most people on our tests are very low in manganese, very low in magnesium, very low in zinc, and then some people are also low in chromium, which affects blood sugar levels. Now, in some cases, are, are, are too much of these elements bad for you? Well, you can kill yourself with anything, even water and air, right. so you should be careful about taking single nutrients in very high doses unless you're doing it from a test that you know it's safe. So you, you should know what your levels are in your body before you start taking any type of nutrient, really? Well, a good multi is fine. It's pretty safe to take right. a good multivitamin, B vitamins, water-soluble vitamins, vitamin C. But single minerals in very high doses, if you don't know you need it, you should be careful. Okay. Now, now some things you don't have the solution for, like nearsightedness and different things like no. that. I mean, but there's, there's new evidence about uh, preventing and reversing macular degeneration with some uh, antioxidants for the eyes. Really? Yeah. Okay. What about s your skin? Uh, I mean, a lot of people, uh, as they get older, there's the elasticity mm -hmm. of their skin goes no. away. That's collagen, and vitamin C is necessary for collagen, and many people burn up vitamin C from stress and don't take enough. I, I saw a large thing on the news the other day that basically said that we don't get enough vitamin D and right. that we should be out in the sun at least 15, 15 minutes, minutes a day That's right. to get that vitamin D. That's right. Very important. And what happens if you don't get enough vitamin D? Well, it's been recently linked to uh, certain types of cancers. Uh, I just read a story on the air today about uh, breast cancer, high breast mm -hmm. cancer rates. Now, are there some amino acids out there that we should be taking that we might be deficient in, and that would cause an overall uh, degeneration in our health? Well, some of the amino acids uh, really help with the neurotransmitters in the brain. So people that are depressed sometimes need tryptophan. And they take that, and they, it goes into serotonin. It's a natural antidepressant. Not if they're taking a, an SSRI drug, but it really helps with sleep and with depression. As we grow older, do some of the nutrients we usually had when we were younger go away, and we need to actually replace them? They can be over a long period of time. You get deficiencies. Mm -hmm. That's why we test them. Okay. This is our newsmaker, Jay Foster, discussing natural remedies for common ailments. I'm Spiro Kaplan. Thank you for watching. The preceding has been a presentation of Comcast Newsmakers. And now, back to CNN Headline News.